okay, you've got options here, but due to the way I want to push you, I do not want to be drawing a grid here, putting the values in, and, and then plot some coordinates. I think it's more useful to remind you of how to use the gradient intercept. But if it does go wrong, you can literally do this, put some x, y's values there, it tells you what values of x to use. Okay, it tells you that, and you can do half of the x, so half of that 4 is 2, add 5 is 7, and so on and so on. Okay, but I'm going to go a bit more sophisticated using the gradient intercept. So the y-intercept is 5, so I've got coordinate at 5. Gradient is a half. So remember, along the core, so sorry, you've got a fraction here, so that is how you use the fraction. So this tells you the left and right on the bottom, so it's going along two, and then up or down is on the top. Look at my scale, each one is two squares, so just be aware of that. So I'm going to go along two, up one. So along two, nice dash lines, up one, there, I'm going to do it again. Oh, yeah, two, yeah. And there we go. And then I'm going to draw the line across the whole graph. Okay, making sure I'm lined up nicely. Oh, missed it. Okay, you would take more time to do that a little better, but making sure to hit all, all the graph because it's saying from minus two to four. By going across the whole graph, you're not going to miss any of those.